Hey, my name is Lewis Mudderch, and today I want to show you the do's and don'ts when building a landing page for software and software as a service. I'm going to use real examples of sites running ads to their site or doing some sort of paid advertising so you can see people literally burning money. And then also show you that people are really doing something right whenever they're advertising their software and that they're really primed for conversions. So I'm actually just going to jump into what not to do when building your landing page for a software. And, and I took out the company information on this page because I'm about to hurt some feelings. But basically, this is a horrible landing page. Um, you know, request a demo for what? Maybe I'm a branded search, maybe I already know what you're, you're offering, but you know, let's assume or not. Request demo for what? Ready to see more? See more of what? Like, have a video, have some GIFs, have some like images showing what the product actually is and what you can do. Because also, here's another big flag. I mean, all the traffic in here is basically being wasted. Don't ask the highest friction questions first. Like, don't get the name, phone number, and email, uh, NAP, just push that to the bottom. Get them to take action first by like having them enter their industry, uh, maybe what's their job function, just get, get the micro commitment so they already invest some time and then they will be more likely to fill up the last pieces of information. So this is just bad practice. Also, just ask this whole thing. Make If you're gonna ask this much information, make it multi-step, make it one piece of information at a time. Okay, what industry are you in? Boom, enter, next input field, then it shows. Okay, what's your job file? Boom, enter. That's gonna increase your conversion rate rather than just saying like, okay, here's 10 input fields, have fun. Be more clear, like what is this? I would just ask that too. So get rid of the navigation on this page. I feel bad for the guy running the ads on this because uh, I'm just really tearing this apart. Have a CTA right here and then you can uh, just it's access the navigation. You don't want to distract them. You're paying money to get them to come to this page specifically so they convert and then you're giving them ways to go get distracted and bounce. Why would you do that? I would just read this whole section. I'm, who's going to read this? Who's going to sit there and say, okay. All right, our automated sales assistant identifies no one. We're gonna bounce. So you should need to have some kind of like icon, something engaging, some kind of like gifts, just like I showed in the other videos, uh, in the other breakdown. And then if you have reviews, read our five star reviews on G2 Crowd Sales. Why are those reviews not on this page? Why are you not getting me to trust you without leaving this page? Um, there's just a lot of things done wrong. This number needs to be at the top right corner, top left corner, sorry. Uh, with your requested demo, it shouldn't be all at the bottom. And then get rid of the footer. Why do you have all this way for me to get distracted and not and not take an action? So this is an example of, of how not to do a landing page. And if you're going to do a landing page like this, just just don't. You're going to waste money. So I, I love this page. I'm just going to be completely honest. I'm very in love with what Reply is doing here. Here, I just want to show you what are some good best practices. So again, I scroll down right away. Big H1 tells me what's going on. Um, Supercharger sales team with Reply. I would actually just get rid of any top navigation. But yeah, get rid of the navigation. Um, make it so they can't leave the page because you designed this page specifically for them to convert. So if you're sending paid traffic to a page, you shouldn't really, you try to control the experience so that you're giving the best possible first impression and make them take a single action on the page. So I like the supercharger sales team to reply. Probably give a little bit more info on what it is, but you don't need that because you actually have this uh, section down here. So this is really cool because a video, maybe someone doesn't want to click the video, but this is automatically playing. Like I'm going to watch it. You're not, I'm not going to be like, oh, 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 I'm already watching it. It's too late. So I really love how it showcases the features here. Um, so you have discover, engage, execute. Really great to get someone to get an idea of what you do within that first uh, five seconds or get them to stick around a little bit longer because you're asking for them to put in some information. So why? Why would I put this information? Oh, cool. Okay, so you have this discover feature, right? You have this engage feature. And so this right here, into your work email, 14 day free trial, no credit card required, all features included. If you have a software, these are things people want to know. These are these are the friction points. Okay, is it free? How much do I have to pay? How long until I pay? Um, okay, I don't have my credit card. Great. All features included. Oh, so you're not limiting me on the software. This is perfect. If you have these selling points or something similar, put it right underneath where they're supposed to give you the information because they're reading this, they're reading this, they see this. Um, I'm about to give my information. Wow, okay, great. And again, just good design. You know, discover prospects on the go with the Chrome extension, add new prospects. So have a picture of the, the product in action. Great, especially for software. You're trying to get people to know what it looks like. You don't want to sit there, sign up, and, and check it out just to find out the UI really sucks or it doesn't really have the feature I want. So give people an idea of what it looks like when they're using actual software, of course. So reduce the friction there. Probably have something here to say what happens if you don't use Reply. Um, because they're saying what you can do with it, but I would also address like, you know, spend, you spend a lot more time if you were able to do this with other softwares, or is this the easiest software out there? 
try to give people a reason like like there's a there's a con to not use and reply not just like here's these pros but okay you're missing out on this if you're not using it and again here they go social proof on each feature really clever having that that testimonial does help maybe a picture of a face though so they know that it's a testimonial because i almost i skimmed past that the first time and i didn't even realize it was a testimonial so I have a little picture of a face right here <laughs> that's my horrible attempt of trying to draw an avatar but you get the idea I have a picture of someone there because so i know that's a, a piece of social proof that's a real testimonial um, of someone using the software that's going to help me trust that this is a good product this is great showing the actual numbers they're getting using the software so whatever whatever you have as a, as a tool maybe showing the results they're getting is really powerful uh, because i'm seeing exactly the kind of experience they're getting and it gives me an idea of what i might get if i use the software as well all right for convert kit i was actually kind of confused when it first landing on their page because they switched up the the hero section to be grow your email list and win ten thousand um, dollars so this is some sort of like challenge they're pushing right now but i don't know what like how what, what's going on maybe make this a second section but Oh, okay, ConvertKit is an email marketing software for creators. That should be the top part. And then put this below, because it seems like a secondary, probably just trying, maybe, maybe it converts better. I could be wrong, but you know, if I, if I don't know really what ConvertKit is and I saw it somewhere, I heard about it, I'd probably best to show me this first. It's an email marketing software for creators and then show me how to use it. Perfect. I love how they show the, the mock-ups with like the arrows pointing to the next section to keep your eye visually going. And then here we go. I love how they're showing a picture of the person who's leaving the testimonial. That way my eyes don't scan past it. It's really great to show the actual feature they're offering this part and then a testimonial about someone saying how this product helps them out. Our area is great for them. And then showing some more features, things like that. Pat Flynn automatically recognized who that is. So obviously I trust this software even more. This part should be at the top, right? So as I said, have a video, have a GIF. They have both. They have a video GIF. Like it's the GIF showing you the first few seconds of the video. And then you can click to play the video. So here's what I do. This is a really hacky job, but really quick. You get the concept that left align this content. So it's over here and then move this video to the right. But that should be right away what I see. ConvertKit is this. Watch the demo, one minute, 35 seconds, giving me a preview of what it is. Hit some of the company information just because we're gonna be ripping it apart. Uh, so basically when I'm landing on a landing page, you know, what is this? Pass the five second test. What is this problem? Why do I have to read all these little bullet points? Why isn't there like a video to quickly capture my attention before I bounce? Because you're asking a lot of information of me right here. Give me a reason to give you that information. This should be multi-step. You're asking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight fields of information and you're putting the highest friction um, questions first, the name, email, phone number, and then you ask the lower friction questions. You shouldn't have someone fill out seven pieces of information all at once. That's, that's asking so much. So this needs to be multi-step. This needs to be showing one form field at a time. And then you only show the lowest friction form fields first. So like, you know, what's the number of employees you have or things like that, just so they get a micro commitment to go to the next uh, input field. So Drift is actually really cool because they are showing the use cases in their H1. So I see on some software sites, what people do is they just do a blob of use cases or a bunch of do a little, little tiny icons like, hey, if you're an agency and da, da, da. Here we go, shorter sales cycle, connect sales with leads faster with Drip, uh, book more sales meetings with Drip. Great, it's just going through in an engaging way that catches my eye, the different use cases for here. All I gotta do is put in my business email address and get this, I love this part, sign up with Google, sign up with Microsoft, great. I love when sites have that because I'm one of those people that are lazy. I don't even like typing my email address in just to get access to something. So I love that one click sign up with Google, grabs my first name, all that stuff. I wish more SaaS uh, companies started doing this and, and you know, it's been around for a while now. I don't know why everyone doesn't have it, but great option uh, to make it easy for someone just to become a user. They have this marketers playbook down here. This is obviously the lower friction offer. So if I don't want to sign up for Drift yet because I still need to be convinced. I want to see the features, things like that. They have this lower friction offer I would move this up so I would move Julie down I don't know I think she's part of like the social proof uh, section but I move her down and put the marketers playbook up because maybe I don't want to sign up for the drift yet but I see this lower friction offer I'm like okay you know what I'll get the free book more social proof definitely have this join 50,000 other businesses uh, this one's actually also unique because they use their own product on their homepage not everyone's gonna have that luxury but obviously that's that's a good selling point uh, yeah, so here we go. Show this. This is exactly what this product looks like. This is exactly what it looks like in action. Great. It looks it looks clean. I like the UI. Now I'll sign up. Again, it just goes back to showing the actual user interface. You show the actual product. Show what people are going to get before they sign up. And then they have the second CTA here to, to basically become a customer. So did a good job here. Only thing I would do is just 
just change this section up, move up the, the lower friction offer, maybe cut out some of these logos just a lot. So I hope you got some value out of this video. And my, my goal here was to actually show real world examples of landing page best practices for software rather than just giving you a checklist of do's and don'ts. Feel free to leave comments of anything I forgot in terms of conversion rate tips you actually like to use. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.